Harry's Wife, part 101.80. He is your nightmare. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor, continuing to observe and analyze so much material in relation to Harry's wife to enable you to understand what's going on, and of course seeing it all through the prism of narcissism. We turn to an article by from Fox News, I leave it for you to determine the veracity of the material. As always, I provide you with the analysis. The article by Neil Sean tells us, Harry's wife's worst nightmare isn't King Charles. It's the Prince of Wales. Prince Harry faces a life of permanent exile, with King Charles III plotting to follow the playbook drawn up by the royals when they overcame the crisis triggered by Edward VIII. The king who abdicated in 1936 and was obliged to live the rest of his life outside the United Kingdom. That's what the headlines in the gossip columns say about the recent return of Harry and Harry's wife to the United Kingdom. But the truth is much different. Let me explain. The royal family evolves and divides after each reign with no one safe from exclusion. You need only look at the way ex-royal servants are dispensed with after service is done. Harry and Harry's wife are no different. She's a former actress who listed herself as a supermodel okay, on her resume prior to landing the biggest role of her career. Delusion. After she fell in love with a prince, although she can't experience love, but she believes that she does, from the most famous royal family in the world. He's a prince by birth, with no career direction, but ready and happy to trade on his good looks, and having no responsibility in life. They were a match made in heaven. But not even Harry's wife, with all of her showbiz bang, could have foreseen just how quickly the axe will swing with the arrival of the new reign of King Charles III. Harry's wife has told associates that the king liked me a lot. Notice it's the past use of that. And we get on well. I wouldn't say you get on well these days, but of course, Harry's wife is deluded and believes that everybody thinks she's ace. And if they don't, there must be something wrong with them. Until, of course, she trashed him on television and kept pushing ahead with daily titbits about his institution and families. But it's not King Charles that Harry's wife and Harry should be worried about. It's the new Prince of Wales, who reportedly called out the ex-actress directly to his younger brother ahead of the wedding that Harry's wife called a spectacle. Harry's wife tried her very best to make William like her while gushing about saving the planet, mirroring he was having none of it. The reason he was having none of it, of course, is that as a normal, he doesn't have an addiction to the narcissist, and he's not affected by emotional thinking. Instead, what he sees is that this person is problematic. Back then, he didn't know that he was dealing with a narcissist. Nevertheless, he recognised that the behaviours weren't appropriate, that things were moving too quickly, and that could spell problems. He also saw behaviours that he thought were inappropriate. Accordingly, her attempts to seduce William, and I say seduce in the sense of become bosom buddies with him, because a narcissist can seduce you in a non-sexual way also as part of giving you the golden period, but it didn't work with William. Neil Sean then writes, she tried then the wife, but Catherine, while easier going than William, was well versed in diva antics of the showbiz world, thanks to her savvy mother, Carol. What frustrated Harry's wife most was that she could not make William like her, according to my good source. She relayed this back to Harry, who remained perplexed at the situation. After all, everyone loves Harry's wife, right? Well, she certainly thinks that way. And Harry wants it to be that way, because of course he's chosen her. And, quite normally, most people want their spouse to be liked by other people because then life becomes a lot easier. Also, for Harry, of course, although he might not have experienced it that early on, the fact is that if people don't like her, not only does that trouble him because she's his spouse, but furthermore, she might take it out on him by way of indirect assertion of control because of those threats. Returning to the article, not quite Harry as his friends were exiled on a frequent basis because they did not agree with the madcap woke world of the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Isolation? 
nullification of threat to control over secondary sources, tightening of grip over primary source. Harry was happy for this to happen. But the one thing Harry's wife could not do was bin William. She saw him as the future of the monarchy and her ticket to a new starring role. And of course, we've seen her repeatedly making eyes at him. Not recognising the boundary that he's in a relationship with somebody else, not caring about that fact, but of course, subconsciously believing that she should be with him, that she should be queen to his king. Now, in 2022, Sean writes, Harry's wife believes Charles will and still does like her, and she holds the key to one thing Charles would like to return to order, his younger son, Harry. Charles simply cannot fathom just how he has ended up like this with Harry when they weren't so close, and now Harry's wife holds the key to that, a source told me. She knows he will need her if she is to allow Harry back to any kind of relationship. Notice that she is to allow him, a grown man in his thirties, allowed to have a relationship with his father. And of course that accurately sums up the narcissistic perspective in the subconscious of Harry's wife. She knows he will need her if she is to allow Harry back to any kind of relationship with his father, and Charles is very aware of this. Let's face it, she booted her own father as he did not fit the remit when she elevated herself to the latest role. She placed him on the shelf initially and then has disengaged from him, so Charles won't get a look in. But William, for Harry's wife, is the bigger problem and one she can't solve. William cannot abide Harry's wife, despite what you saw at the recent Windsor walkabout, and that's as a consequence of his reaction as normal and being excellently advised. He's playing the very long game, and make no mistake, she is terrified of him simply because throughout all of this, William has not once shown any incline to her charms. This is annoying Harry's wife beyond belief. Indeed, it's a threat to control. So for those claiming it will be the new King Charles who is ready to wield his proverbial axe on the ex-royal couple, think again. Charles should be watched by the couple, but for the man who one day will be king, there will be no room for a former actress and a party-loving prince in his court, even if it is his once much-loved younger brother. How could this change in the future? asks Neil Sean. Harry alone will always be welcome, but no one, and I mean no one, trusts the deluded head thoughts and mind of Harry's wife. It's as simple as that, the source confided. Clearly then, people, of course, have got the measure of her. What do people below the line say? John 707. Harry didn't think through his marriage to Harry's wife. He was born and raised a royal. She wasn't. He chose to leave the royal family because of Harry's wife, so he's no longer a royal. He made his choice and must accept the consequences. You know what? Writes as follows. The royals are wise not to trust Harry's wife. For anyone that has had close experience with a narcissist, the signs are all there. You can never say anything in her presence that can be used against you, and you can never trust her. Ever. It's non-negotiable when you're dealing with a narcissist, and they rarely ever change. Well, you know what? They never change. TX conservative girl, I think when Harry realises, if he hasn't already, that he made a mistake and wants to return to England, he should do some grovelling and go back. The royal family should pay off Harry's wife so that Harry can get custody of the kids and bring them to England. Harry's wife will have to sign a non-disclosure agreement to keep her mouth shut. Yes, she doesn't deserve the money, but it will shut her up. The irony is that she thinks she'll be happy, but she'll never be happy, because she won't be able to maintain the spotlight anymore. She'll try, but people will grow quickly tired of her. Great E Mom 7. What a great piece by Neil Sean, nicely said. Hits the correct spots and probably closer to the actual truth. Harry's actually thrown away all of his responsibilities. Hey, if a life in California with Harry's wife, the kids and Oprah is what you want, go for it. Who am I to tell you different? But sometimes life choices do have consequences. But it seems that Harry's wife is having more of a problem than Harry. She's puzzled by why anyone wouldn't like her. She's a Hollywood starlet. Question mark. She's pretty? Question mark. She's friends with Oprah and Serena Williams? Question mark. And Tyler Perry thinks she's cute? Question mark. What more could a girl offer? Personally, I think she'll dump Harry some time, haul in the millions proffered or offered to her to go away, keep the kids, have her mother and Oprah move in with her and play the victim. Biggest role in her life for the rest of her life. Trump is winning, 332. I can sum it up for you for free, right now. 
Balding, short glass of water, ex-royal, soon to be cleaned out by a race car playing gold digger, tells all desperately trying to keep what hay he has left, and the mother of his child from ditching him for her next paycheck. The book deal is keeping her around a bit longer, but don't be fooled. She'll let him go soon enough. I'm extending my Irreconcilable Differences event to January 2023. It will be in the tabloids long before it's official, but his days of being Mr. Harry's wife are numbered, and his days of royalty are long gone. There is no way the royal family is letting this turncoat back into the cool club. Just saying my piece, 649, she may have won this game. However, when she banished her father, lied about her relationship with her family and trashed the royals, people saw the cruelty within her and that forever set her on a path of no return. She will never be trusted by Harry's family, the English public who love their royals, or the general public that see her as an opportunist. No nonsense too. Harry and Harry's wife have to be two of the most clueless individuals around. They claim to want their privacy, but go on television and make the most inappropriate comments about their families, along with other incendiary comments, thereby drawing more attention to themselves. If they want the privacy they claim to want, I suggest they shut up and keep to themselves. They have become tiresome and tedious, to say the least. And that's just a sprinkling of some 2,700 comments which are in a similar vein. They're not getting any support there, below the line. Once again, not only are there problems for Harry's wife with regard to the fact that William sees through her, but so do thousands of others. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.